Arc fault is caused by short circuit of electrical current, phase to phase or phase to ground. This results in an arc flash with extremes in temperature up to around 18,000 degrees Celsius and light. High voltage equipment or shorting across all three phases to ground is also likely to cause both an arc blast and arc flash. These events are almost simultaneous and can cause serious burns or fatality. When carrying out work on electrical equipment, consideration must be given to personal protective equipment and following safe work procedures. All stated hazard controls should be implemented before commencing work. This will assist in reducing the probability of an arc fault and reduce the risk of harm in the event of an arc flash or arc blast occurrence. Standards are changing and now arc rated fire retardant PPE is available to prevent serious injury in the event of an arc flash. AR PPE should not be confused with standard fire retardant PPE of which may not provide adequate personal protection in the event of an arc flash. AR PPE is rated on specific standards applied to particular arc flash events. Standard fire retardant PPE is not designed to be arc resistant. Where live electrical testing is to be carried out, it is imperative the correct test equipment is selected according to the type of test being carried out. Examples of this could be correct voltage testing or continuity testing. The type of tools used on the job are also important, such as using tools that are insulated against electricity. An electrically insulated tool will have this marking and a voltage rating. Ensure that electrical tools used on the job have voltage ratings compatible for the task. The worker must not commence work before the isolation is tested and confirmed with appropriate electrical testing equipment. Always remember the phrase, test before you touch. There must be a work buddy on standby in the nearby area with a clear line of sight to the worker carrying out the electrical task at all times. The buddy must be outside the designated exclusion zone of 3 metres. The buddy system provides a standby person in a safe location so that in the event of an arc flash or arc blast, the buddy can render assistance or get help. The buddy must be both an electrical tradesperson and first aid trained in CPR. The buddy should also wear arc resistant PPE if there is any chance the buddy could be exposed to an arc flash occurrence. Remember, when it comes to arc flash safety, isolate before work where possible and test before you touch. Test before you touch. Follow the buddy system on live or potentially live equipment and always wear arc rated PPE when working on electrical equipment.